You've seen front living fifth wheels before, but I bet you haven't seen one quite like this. Let's go. We are here at McLean's RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas, taking a look at this grand design solitude. Now this is a front living fifth wheel and you'll be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen. What really makes this fifth wheel different and exciting is it is under 40 feet long, still has a front living room and the front living room arrangement is flipped from what your original front living room setup would be on a fifth wheel. So a lot of exciting stuff about this. Real quick, before we start looking through it, really excited to let y'all know that we are now partnered with McLean's RV. They have five locations, four in Texas and one in Oklahoma. And if you are interested in this RV or any other RV that they may carry as they are a Grand Design, Winnebago and KZ dealer, you can get connected with them. If you text us at the number on the screen here, we will get you connected with somebody here who will take care of you and make sure you have a great experience. Basically what we've done with our company Firmly Unbound is we have done the research for you to figure out dealerships that we think carry a good product that we're excited about, that we believe will take care of you if you come buy your RV from them. So we have partnered with McLean's and are excited to help you with your shopping experience. So if you text us at the number on the screen, we will help you get connected to them and have a great experience with purchasing your RV. So as we walk through this RV here, again, under 40 feet, so that's really the most impressive thing about this. If you're looking for a fifth wheel under 40 feet long, this is it. It's right at 39 feet, four inches on this exact one that we're looking at, which means something like a 250 or 2500 diesel truck would be able to pull this relatively easy, especially compared to like a 41, 42, 43 foot front living fifth wheel. And we're gonna just hop inside, or actually, sorry, we're gonna go through the outside real quick, then we'll hop inside. So as we go up to the front, you have a really nice looking molded fiberglass front cap and it does have the glass windshield there but it is very darkly tinted so you can hardly even tell that it is a windshield then this is a solitude s class so this is actually like a stripped down solitude so you have your solitude right here this is going to have you immediately can tell because you have the moride pin box up front here whereas your s class is going to have this rhino pin box so there's a few differences from an s class to a solitude where you're getting a little bit more quality and extra features in a solitude. And then an S class is going to be a little bit more, um, or a little bit less expensive option, but still packed all of the same feel and quality that you get from solitude as a whole. So big fan of this S class model. You have the drop frame up front. So you are going to have that drop frame here that gives you more storage in the front. So nice big storage access with a spot for two batteries. And then it does have solar on the roof. So you have your solar charge controller there as well. You're going to have a six point electric auto leveling system. That's something that's going to differentiate it from a solitude as well as where your solitude will have a hydraulic leveling system. S class is going to have an electric leveling system, but it's still an auto leveling system. Nonetheless, storage space through here for a front living. It's not terrible. You usually don't get good storage in most front living models. Um, and then one thing that solitude did that's nice is you get this quick, easy access into your controls or um, sorry into your water lines and electrical lines so all of that is back through here easy door to get through um, lots of manufacturers out there they just have this all screwed in so you actually have to undo screws to get to that access back there battery disconnect here it is prepped with a tire pressure monitoring system so that is that control there now you can see it's all aluminum framing all of your frame pieces are welded on both sides of the frame and your subfloor underneath is wrapped so nice clean finish then you have a light here, some outlets, so you can plug in a TV here as well. And then all of your doors, they have magnet latches. So that is really nice as well. One thing that I'm not super fond of on this travel trailer is this slide out height is actually only about five foot 10, maybe five foot 11. So I have to duck underneath this to get down into that compartment, which is not my favorite thing ever, but you know, can live with it. And that's what you get when you have a lot of slide outs on a fifth wheel. However, if it was sitting up a little bit higher on the front, this one looks like it's pretty level. So that's probably about where it's gonna be at. Your slide out height may be something where some people will have to duck underneath it. 
propane quick connect line underneath there for a grill outside. And then you have two awnings outside as well that are gonna give coverage for most of the outside of your fifth wheel. Both are going to be able to tilt. You have LED light strips underneath both that you will get use of whether your awnings are in or out. And you're gonna have an LED light bar over the door as well. You're gonna have Cooper H-rated tires, which this is something I'm actually really surprised to see on the S-Class. I would have thought that they, maybe for you know cutting costs, they would have saved this for just the Solitude model, but you actually get this Cooper H-rated tire on the S-Class as well. So that is really nice, really premium. Um, Solitude well known for having a laminated sidewall and the slide outs. So they always want you to thump there so that you know it's a laminated sidewall, nice and solid. And then that's everything on your campsite. Oh, and your Rockford Fosgate speakers as well. Same thing, they could have kind of, you know, held off with the higher quality sound system and saved that for just solitude, but they give you that in the S-Class as well. So that's everything on the campsite. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look inside real quick, and then we'll take a look at the rest of the outside after we've gone through the inside. Now I put the awnings in because it is getting a little breezy out here. And as we walk inside, this is the 3460 FL from Solitude. Of course, you have your screen door here. I like that it's white instead of black. And that just gives it a little bit cleaner look in my opinion. And then the exact specs on this model, it's right at 39 feet, four inches. And you have a cargo carrying capacity of 2,884 pounds, so pretty good. I wanted to show real quick that you do have a strut assisted step. So it will stay up on its own. It also has the nice latch right here that makes it really easy to extend and retract the length of your legs. So setting up your fifth wheel when you get to your campsite will be nice and easy. As we walk inside, um, I could already see some people maybe not exactly liking that when you walk in, it's just a wall right here in your bathroom. It is nice because you can quickly and easily get to your bathroom even with the slides closed, but you do have to take a turn to the right and then I need to close this cabinet to get through your hallway that goes to where your kitchen is. Now, because of this being under 40 feet and still being a front living fifth wheel, it's not going to have the biggest kitchen ever, but it is still a nice size kitchen with an impressive amount of counter space, especially around your stove and oven. So that is symmetrical there, putting it right in the middle so you get countertop space on both sides. And then we're gonna kind of work our way from here and go around. Cabinets that are backlit here with LED lighting. Three shelves there. Lights there to light up this space and then shelving here. As I looked up, saw the vent fan there. So you are gonna have a vent fan above your stove and that is a max air vent fan. You have three ACs on this RV, so no problem staying cool. And they are the Coleman Mach AC, so you can run all three on 50 amp service. Storage space there and spot to put your keys in here as well, and that is LED backlit. In this store, you're gonna have your controls for your manual switches, but the S-Class and Solitude also have a touchscreen control panel that will link to your phone, so you get really three different ways that you can control your fifth wheel. Manual switches, touchscreen, and phone controls, which is really impressive. Again, really nice countertop space and still tile backsplash here as well. It's something I would not have expected to see in the S-Class model of Solitude. Solid surface countertops, and then you're gonna have four drawers here that pull out next to your stove. And then on this side, you're gonna have storage through there and it opens up here as well. So. Gave you two doors there to get into that space. Furion three burner stove with a larger size oven, not the biggest oven ever, but a bigger size oven and then a pull out drawer here. So nice big space there for storage. And then as we turn to the right, plenty of pantry space where you have three shelves there, the top two are adjustable and then you have three pull out drawers as well. Curious your thoughts if you uh, like having these pull out drawers or if you would have preferred to see shelving just all up and down in this space. Or, wow, that came out a little weird. In this space here. <laughs> so let me know. Solid hardwood construction on that door definitely feels nice and heavy. And then solid hardwood construction that is stained on your um, cabinets and drawers as well. Adjustable shelving in this pantry. And this is your more narrow pantry. So, all in all, lots of pantry space. And I guess. This kind of makes up for everything here with giving you the pull-out drawer still having plenty of shelving space. You're going to have a Samsung refrigerator. It already comes with these um, bungee cords here to keep it closed while you're going down the road. And open this up. You're gonna have a French door style refrigerator with a 
drawer underneath for your freezer. Close that up and then down underneath here. Spot for your freezer. And then storage up above here. Um, soft close on that, so that's nice, although some of your other cabinets do not have the soft close. And then here to your right, you have more additional storage through here as well. This is going to be a flip down countertop. So you can see you have outlets there. Could put a TV here if you wanted to, although I don't see like a cable plug, but a smart TV you could set up here. And this will flip down. It actually does need to be flipped down to close that slide out. So that is something to keep in mind. And then just looking at this here, it does not look like you'll be able to open this refrigerator when the slide out is closed. Because you can see how both doors look like they are blocked from that island kitchen. However, it's possible that right door might open when that slide is closed. Nice LED lighting underneath your island kitchen and then three more drawers down underneath here to the right that will open up like so. Um, no floor vents in these fifth wheels. Everything is run through the cabinetry so you don't see any floor vents and they have a really nice looking slide out flooring where you can see here that it is pretty much, you know, it matches the flooring in the main part of the fifth wheel perfectly and you can hardly even tell that it's there. You have your dining table here. It's kind of like a pedestal style table. It is screwed into the floor. So if you want to take it out and put something else there, it'd be very easy to do so. Nice looking chairs with storage underneath. And then you have your three windows. And I really like what they did here where this balance across the top, it's all connected. It's not separate balances. I felt like that gave it a more finished look and looks less like an RV. So I definitely appreciate that. Pull down blackout shades on all your windows and they do have this nice drawstring here that moves across so you can easily locate where to grab that at. Nice lighting in here as well and then your slide out boxes are about seven feet tall so a nice walk-in slide out box. And then you can see some different things here that you have with your solitude real quick. Things like a three ACs that are ducted. Um, a lot of other models may have two that are ducted and then a third drop down one. So that is nice have that there, definitely want to talk about that. And you have a 101 inch wide body construction. So this is a wide body fifth wheel, which gives it a nice big feel in here. Get a look at your island one more time. You do have a split sink in here. So that sink is split. And then this is a nice solid surface countertop and a nice um, kind of almost like geometric looking faucet there, how it's all squared off. So. Let me know so far what your thoughts are, what you like and what you don't like. And then as we move up into this living room, nice handle there as you're going up here. And you have a great amount of space here, two cushion sofas on both sides. And this is going to allow both of these to make into beds. So you'll have two almost queen size beds when you pull those out. And then your recliner seats are in the front cap where your windshield is at. And it looks really nice. It's perfectly symmetrical. So they did a great job with the look and aesthetic of it. And with the windshield there, it looks really clean. You do have nice lighting around where you have the puck lights on both sides. And you have puck lights above and LED light up there as well. So there's an LED light strip behind the trim. And then you have a privacy shade here as well. So when you want to close that down, you can do that as well. And it has a nice framed out part where that will slide into. So this is what makes this really different. Most of your front living fifth wheels have your TV on this wall. Whereas on this model, turn to the left and you have your TV in this spot here and it will come up out of the countertop. So it's nice when it's down, you can see into the kitchen easily and then you put the TV up here and you will have viewing for everybody in this area to be able to hang out and watch TV. It does kind of separate off your kitchen space um, a little bit more than you might have in a traditional front living fifth wheel, but it does give it a lot more feeling of separation than some other front living fifth wheels. Rockford Fosca audio system, nice big fireplace here that will put out heat. So that will be an electric heat source for you. And then you have your AC up in here as well. And let me know what you think about these sofa colors as well. They're pretty light. They look really, really good in here. I mean, I'm a big fan of how these look and I think it looks really nice and elegant but you let me know what you think as well. And that's pretty much everything in this living room space. You do have a little lip here, so you wanna be mindful of that, that there is a lip going up to these recliners. And these recliners are extremely comfortable. They have heat and massage, and they have a USB port on each one. Great viewing angle. Your right uh, theater seat is directly in front of the TV. Both will recline all the way back so you can lay down flat, and they are 
very soft and very comfortable. And so then we're gonna go back to the bathroom and bedroom and it keeps getting better, especially if you're tall. Um, as we go back this way, I wanna point out a skylight here as well, some more natural light coming in. If you are tall, this is the shower you want in your RV. No steps going to the bathroom or bedroom, so it's all flat. And look at how much shower height is in here. You would have to be almost eight feet tall to not fit in this shower. So any human being will be able to fit in here and it is a great space, molded fiberglass, one piece shower, so good quality. Has the seat in there as well. And then you have different shelving throughout this shower. Adjustable shower height. And me being 6'2", when I step in here, at its tallest height, it is certainly tall enough for me to not have to duck underneath it. I would say if you're any taller than me, if you're like 6'3 or 6'4, you're probably gonna have to duck just a little bit or lift this up out of here and use it as a wand to get it over your head. But that's a great shower height for tall people. And again, no steps either coming into this area. So if you want less steps in your fifth wheel, this also makes that a great option. Nice deep stainless steel sink. You can fit your hands in there and then nice black faucet as well. Big medicine cabinet with three shelves. Oh, my apologies for hitting the camera there. Have a skylight in here. And the first thing I found that they kind of cheaped out on was not a great vent fan, but you can replace that with a max air vent fan if you want. And you have a porcelain foot flush toilet here. Dual entrance into the bathroom, which I always prefer. So you can go straight from the bathroom into the bedroom. Oh, and you have your hot water, or not hot water, you have your water heater controls here as well in the bathroom where they should be, where some fifth wheels, they put their water heater controls in the living room or the kitchen, places that don't make sense. But you have it here in the bathroom and it is a tankless on-demand water heater. Going into the bedroom, really nice natural lighting in here because of the added window above the bed slide. This is because there are no steps going into this fifth wheel, so you get a lot of ceiling height in here. They can add that window you're gonna have pull down blackout shades in here as well. King size bed, huge storage down underneath the bed. That goes all the way back to the sidewall. Nice and framed out as well, look well finished. You have nightstand tables on both sides and a really nice looking headboard. Two lights above each individual or one above each individual, sorry. Outlets here, USB ports, same thing on the other side as well. And then plenty of wardrobe storage. It does not lack on that whatsoever. In this closet, you have shelves, or this is where your washer and dryer would go if you want to install a washer and dryer. You're going to have closet here that goes all the way across with a nice support bar there, and it has an LED light in there as well. You're going to have cabinets up above the closet. Again, because of the added height in here by not having steps up into the bedroom. And then you're going to have six drawers here that pull out. So those are six huge drawers and then six more drawers. So you can have socks and underwear in here for days. Literally could live out of this thing, even though it's under 40 feet very easily just off of the bedroom storage alone. And then you have a TV in here as well. That is a TCL Roku TV, nice thin bezel on the TV and looks really nice. Last little touch that I really appreciate. You have a magnet catch on your door so that it will hold it open and you don't have to worry about that slamming into the door there and just overall a really nice looking bedroom. So very curious your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this fifth wheel, what you like and what you don't like. And if you are interested in purchasing this fifth wheel, you can text us at the number on the screen. Again, we have done the work for you to find dealerships that we trust and we are working with McLean's here at their Fort Worth store. And they have four other locations, three more in Texas, one in Oklahoma. If one of these locations is convenient for you and you are looking to buy a fifth wheel, you can text us at the number on the screen and we will make sure that you get taken care of and have a great experience with purchasing your fifth wheel. So we're excited to be working with them. You can text us at that number. Um, the price on this fifth wheel, I don't know exactly. Um, I want to say it's in the like one, somewhere in the 100 range, around like 120 maybe. I did. I don't have like the exact pricing on it, but it is in that $100,000 range. But if you text us at the number on the screen, we'll get you exact purchasing information with financing options, all of that stuff, or schedule a time for you to come take a look at it in person. So text us at the number on that screen there, and then we are going to go take a look outside. And don't forget to comment what you liked and what you didn't like. As we go along the back, you're going to have your ladder to get up onto the roof and you have a spot for a backup camera. Plus, you can tow off of this fifth wheel. So it does have a towing hitch on here rated for 3,000 pounds. So you can tow up to 3,000 pounds and then we're going to go ahead and get up onto the roof real quick. 
Ladder has a 300 pound capacity. And of course it is a fully walkable roof up there as well. So as we come up here, Coleman Mach Q series ACs and a heck of a lot of solar up here. I can already see nice that it's coming with an additional solar port here. So if you do want to add more solar, the additional port is already wired in three ACs up here. And then you can see these look like they're at least 200 watt panels, but these might be 220 watt panels. So at least 400 watts of solar, possibly 440 watts of solar. Definitely going to keep your batteries charged for a long time and have no issue with that. In fact, we have a battery box plugged into this RV that's also connected to the solar cables. And we've had this RV on for well over two hours now as we filmed it in both English and Spanish and have had absolutely no problem with any of the lights dimming whatsoever. So solar is great for that. Fully walkable roof, fully walkable slide out boxes, and that's everything on your roof. So as we hop down from there and go around to the side, you're gonna have backup and reverse lights here. You can see your little reverse light. So that's a nice safety touch where surprisingly a lot of fifth wheels don't have a reverse light, but you do have that on this one. Three slide outs on your non camp side and your big slide is going to be a rack and pinion style slide out. So you can see that there. And then your smaller slide is going to be a Schwintech slide out. So that'll be in your bedroom and in your living room. 50 amp plug connection right here for your electric and down underneath here you're going to have your black and gray tank dump valves for your bathroom and it looks like all it looks like everything comes to this one spot so all of your dump valves come to this one area and then you have a spot here to store your sewer hose as well fully enclosed underbelly all your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed insulation in the underbelly Cooper H-rated tires again, and then you have a Moride CRE 3000 suspension system down underneath here. So nice, good suspension system coming standard out of the factory. Definitely the best looking wheels and tires on any fifth wheel that I can recall. And six point electric auto leveling. As you go forward this way, tankless water heater, all of your water hookups. So in here, you're gonna have your Nautilus water management system very clean and concise management system with a shower as well on the outside auto leveling controls right here in the door again magnet latches to hold this open and still not great slide out height here it's about the same as the other side so i have to duck a little bit to get underneath here but once i'm past this lip i actually can stand up straight so it's a probably about six foot two to right here because my head is just barely touching the top so just something to be mindful of then you can feed your water lines up through here so you can keep this door closed. Two 30 pound propane bottles in total on this fifth wheel. And then finally your specs on here. You have a 17 and a half inch H rated tire cargo capacity of 2,884 pounds, um, 7,000 pound axles and a gross vehicle weight rating fully loaded at 16,800 pounds on this fifth wheel. So that is everything. Let us know what you like and what you don't like on this fifth wheel. Again, if you are interested in it, you can text us at the number on the screen below. Or if maybe you're just looking for something similar and this isn't exactly what you want, there are, I, I mean, there are hundreds of fifth wheels within McLean's network, hundreds of travel trailers as well. So you can text us at the number on the screen and we will help you find exactly what it is that you are looking for. They are a Grand Design, Winnebago, and KZ um, towable dealership. They also carry Winnebago motorhomes and some other motorhome lines as well. So lots of cool things that, and we're really excited to be working with them. So text us at the number if we can help you with finding your RV. And until next time, live firmly on bound.